Okay, so in this video, we're going to talk about uh, video marketing. Well, not so much video marketing, but we're going to talk about how to be more natural on camera. Now, I'm not a TV presenter. I, I, I've not been in, you know... Uh, I have been on TV, but I've not been in, uh, you know, the, the media industry as, as a reporter or anything like this. So these people are probably better to explain how to uh, be more natural on camera um, uh, and probably a lot better than I am. But I'm just going to give you a couple of tips, guys, so that you understand uh, the power of video and how you can actually record. And oh, the only thing that you need is is some small tools and stuff and, and a little bit of confidence and that's what we're going to jump into when we get right back god bless okay welcome back now here we're going to talk about how we're going to be a bit more natural on camera now there's a couple of things that you need to understand. One, you need to be natural. Two, you need to make a, an emotional connection with your audience. And three, you've got to be aware of yourself and you've got to be aware of your limitations and you've got to be aware of uh, how you actually come across. And the biggest fall down, if you like, or the biggest failure is coming from yourself. It's, it's the belief that you can't actually do it. Because in your mind, you're trying to be perfect and you're trying to get everything perfect and you want the audio to be perfect and you want the video to be perfect. And you know what, guys? It doesn't need to be like that. You're not going to be a famous film star. You're not going to be... A, it doesn't matter. You know, your, your, your first video is going to be rank and you're going to get better and better and better. But here's the one thing I want to give, one bit of advice I want to give to you. If you make a mistake, if you wondle your thoughts, and I did that deliberately, okay? So if you muddle your words or you do something that, that, that makes you feel, you know, a bit negative or gives you a bit of anxiety, um, what's going to happen is you're going to panic, you're going to get anxious and you're just going to stop doing it and you're not going to be confident in front of the camera. The whole idea is to really just imagine that you are just chatting to a friend and you're trying to give them a piece of advice or you're trying to just talk to them about something in your day and you want to come across as natural as you can and you want to try and make an emotional connection because here's the thing, video's here to stay, guys. And if you really want your business to, business to be successful, see, I just mixed that up. Um, <clears throat> but we just carry on. When you make a mistake like this, you just carry on because people want to see the raw you. They want to see the natural capacity that you have within yourself. They don't need it to be fake. You can look at videos on YouTube or on any video platform and you can tell immediately and instantly that those videos have actually been scripted and the person's reading from a script or they're actually reading from, you know, I can't remember what one of the boxes are called, but one of these, uh, I don't know, uh, what you call them? Anyway, somebody can tell me, guys, it's, it's escaped my mind. So there you go. You see, there's something that I've done now. I can't remember what it is, but I'm not worried about it. I'm just going to go back and I'm going to talk to you guys because you need to see the raw me and, and people that are going to see you on video need to see the raw you. So the whole thing is, is just, just to be natural. And you don't have to script everything. Talk from your heart. Talk from your knowledge and your wisdom, what you know. Be passionate. If you've got passion for a subject, then it's easy to teach it. If you've got passion for a subject, it's easy to talk about it. And there's a couple of, there's a couple of little caveats here. a couple of other things. I mean, you can use an iPhone, okay? An iPhone's absolutely ideal for you. You, you can have um, a piece of lighting equipment that can help you. Um, I mean, I can go more into depth about it. We can actually utilize a gimbal so that you can use it outside or you can use the gimbal, um, you know, on a, a, a tripod and it can be, it won't, it won't be shaky or you can be walking and you can talk. You see people doing that all the time. But get out there and do it because here's the thing. If you don't do it, you're going to regret not doing it. And if you regret not doing it, then you're just going to sit and you're going to be through this 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 evergreen cycle of not moving forward in your business, not moving forward in what you want to do or achieving, you know, maybe new clients in your business. And here's the thing, like I said before, guys, audio and visual is here to stay. Okay, 
It is here to stay. It is going to be the way that we market everything in the future. And so get used to being on camera. Just be natural. Think about it as talking to your friend. And and you know you, you don't have to be the best looking person in the world. You don't have to be, you know, have, have, have the best voice in the world. I mean, yes, it helps for, you know, quality when you've got a good audio there. But just start. Just do it. Because... There's always going to be, here's the thing, there's always going to be an audience for what you want to teach. There's always going to be an audience for you. It doesn't matter what people think, okay? Remember what I say all the time, perceive, believe, conceive. It doesn't matter what people think. It doesn't matter at all how people perceive you. If you have passion and you believe in your heart and soul what you're doing right and your service to humanity, your service to a greater cause, then just get out and do it. You only need a few tools to start off with. Start with your phone before you get any fancy cameras. I mean, I've got DSLR cameras, I've got fancy cameras. Um, I'm utilizing a Logitech Brio at the moment on my computer. Um, and you just need to start. You know, you can see my audio here. I've just got a, a Yeti Nano. It doesn't need to be expensive for you to start recording. The, I, but the whole thing, no matter what equipment that you have, it's all about you being natural. You don't have to be perfect. And if you make a mistake, just go over it like I did. Just continue and just keep that momentum going. It doesn't, don't read out a script. I, I hate doing that. A prompter, see, there we go, a teleprompter. You can see people reading a teleprompter because their eyes are staring at the teleprompter or they're looking down at the, the what they've written. Just be natural and talk to your friend. Just enjoy it. And that's all you need to do, guys. Get the camera, and here's, the, here's my last tip before we go away, I'm not gonna waffle on, but you wanna practice Get your camera in your office, have a nice background, that's all you need, just have a nice background, get your camera in your office and just talk to your camera without recording, right? Just get yourself feeling about it, take a deep breath, just become aware of your surroundings and just talk to the camera until you feel a little bit more connected with it. Then put it on and record it. You'll notice that your emotion will change the minute that you record and then when you play it back, you're going to, you know, you're going to have, oh my God, I don't look good, I don't look... Just go back, just let it go and get it out there, okay? Sit your camera in front of you, practice two or three times, then record it and have a look at yourself. Just be natural and recognize the, the more you do it, the easier it's gonna be, it, the easier it's gonna come. See, I made a mistake there. I, I you know, got myself mixed up with the words, but we just continue. Because it's just about, if you're chatting to your friend and you're in the shop and you make a, a mistake with what you're saying, you just go back and change it. That's all it's about. Nothing else. And the biggest thing I can tell you, just go and enjoy yourself. You don't need expensive tools. But what you need is belief in yourself, awareness and passion. That's it. Passion for your subject. Be aware of everything around you and just believe that you can do it. That's all you need. And you will see that people will make that emotional connection with you and they will trust you and they will want to build a relationship with you and that's what it's all about. God bless, guys.